Hey everyone and welcome to the vlog. It's been a little bit. I have been super busy in PhD land. In the last week I've attended pretty much the biggest education conference in North America, if not the world. So that's the American Educational Research Association annual meeting, which was held here in Toronto. I supported my buddy as he defended his dissertation successfully. I attended several thesis group meetings. I made a presentation here at OISE. I had my own committee meeting, which was super exciting. Uh, one of my committee members lives out of town, actually 3000 kilometers away. And so it was extra special to have her in town for our meeting. And there was lots of preparation involved in that so super busy time and busy week today's vlog is just going to be a fun one i just want to show you what it's like to study at the university of toronto on the weekend i'm just at my shared office picking up a few things before i head on over to the library so come join me and i'll show you what a phd study session is like i'm going to pause for a moment because it looks like spring has finally sprung in toronto it's so nice outside i want to say like 12 degrees so enjoying that for sure. On that note, a little questionable as to why I want to spend time in the library, but you gotta do what you gotta do as a PhD student. Okay, so I'm settled in my carol. I have to speak quietly because I don't want to disturb the studiers who are around me but just to give you a quick tour of what I've got going on in here. So I'm sitting at my small desk in my carol. I have my laptop. I brought a keyboard with me so that I wouldn't be hunched over it and a mouse. I've got my iPad over here, which can act as a second screen and as a timer for my studies amongst other things. I've got my passion planner. I've got my noise canceling headphones. I've got some beverages to keep me going. My pencil case and a water bottle. Over here I have a little bookshelf. I just have a kettle and a cup and some hot chocolate. There's a drawer over here. I don't really keep anything in it. And then over here I have a window which is really nice because in my shared office at Oise I don't have one so this is like the best feature. Not to mention a more comfy chair than the average library patron. So these carols are for PhD candidates in the social sciences and humanities and so that means you've passed your proposal uh, and you're working on your dissertation and the point is I think is to give you a space that you can consistently come to to study. What's really cool is that you're able to sign out books to your carol. You don't have to take them home or anything like that. You can just leave them here and if someone needs them they'll come get them but until then, they're yours, which is really great. So you can imagine how helpful it is when you're working on a dissertation. Anyways, it's time to study now, and I'm going to set a timer and get going. I have a ton of stuff to work on as a result of last week's committee meeting. My supervisor just gave me a list of things that I have to do, and so I'm going to open up that email and start to work on those. The first thing I had to do was review these notes from my committee meeting, uh, which my supervisor so kindly sent me, and to create a to-do list for today, which includes revising some of the documents that I had submitted to the committee and now have some feedback on. So I just finished reviewing the two pages of notes that my supervisor had from my recent committee meeting and now I'm going to send him an email reply just to thank him for all of his effort in putting that together. And send. The next thing I have to do is review my supervisor's feedback regarding uh, one of my interview protocols. So it's fairly extensive so I'm just going to review all of that and then I'm going to work on revising it. And now I am going to be making the document on the right look more like the document on the left. However, still retaining some unique aspects given that they're different stakeholder groups that these protocols apply to. So I came downstairs to take a break for dinner. The cafeteria that we have here has a lot of great food. However, it's not open because it's getting a little bit later on Saturday. So I head out to the food trucks and here's what I found. Courtesy of the brown truck, ideal catering as students know it, Toronto Supreme Fries, which is sort of like nacho fries. And we're back. So dinner was good, and now I am going to do maybe an hour more of work, and we'll see how I'm doing after that. 
Right now I'm just going back to editing that document that I was working on. Well, it'd be great if I could finish it by tonight, but again, we'll see. So here we go. To help myself concentrate, I'm listening to these Harry Potter themed white noise rooms by ASMR Rooms, and I'll put the link down below in case you're interested in checking them out for when you're sitting. They're awesome. So I did it. The document is edited, and I've got 20 more minutes to go on the clock, so I think I'm gonna read the feedback on the next document. Gotta keep going. So I'm back from the library, mission accomplished. I was there for about five hours or so. I was able to get through edits of the document that I mentioned as well as reviewing edits on a second document that I'll be editing likely starting tomorrow. So, you know, this was meant to just be a fun vlog to give you a little bit of insight into what a library session looks like for a PhD student at the University of Toronto. And I'm very fortunate to have access to that study room like I mentioned. You know, it's been a really great thing to have as I work on my dissertation. Uh, you know, the space isn't all that big, but it's so nice to have a place on campus that isn't shared that I can just go to as needed. It's away from sort of all of what's going on uh, in our department and you can just really go and focus and get the job done. You can leave a few things there and uh, it's just really nice. So I'm very thankful that the University of Toronto provides this as an opportunity to PhD candidates who are writing a lot pretty much all the time. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your evening. I'm gonna sign off here, and until then, have a beautiful and possibly productive weekend. Bye. Bye.